like, oh, these things feel so weird. They so bulky. Like, I can't even close my mouth. Girl, I got an infection in my mouth. You just put me through all that pain. I'm not coming back to get them. I don't want you touching me. And I got eight veneers that I got to find somebody to take them out. My dentist probably won't even take them out. I got an appointment with them on Monday because it's going to be a liability issue. But I, why would you change your information? The first time you told me to go to the emergency room, you should have known you weren't right. You don't even got the tools, love. No. So, yeah, that's what it's about. So, I'm going to be posting all night. I'm going to be posting her information because she's going to run me my money. And if she don't, that's fine. You're going to lose one in the wrong, long run. You won't make a dime here in town for peacefully. You won't do it. You will not do it. I'll make sure if I have to pick a fence outside your office, you will not make another dime. You ain't even supposed to be shaving people real teeth, girl. <laughs>
after conducting research on what a veneer tech is, I didn't find anything, but it's crazy because you'll see these videos where people are showing you that you can get certified to become a veneer tech. And it says that legally only dentists are allowed to place veneers. And for me, that makes a lot of sense because for you to place anything on top of your teeth, you need healthy dental hygiene. And it just seems like people are skipping that step altogether. But let's. My tongue is like a fucking horse. I can't even speak with the crunch in. Yeah, need that smile. I now look at look at the mouths now. Look at how big the teeth are. They got the big horse teeth. That's why I said they're like iPhone chargers. You know the little cubes. Look, they just stuck those in their mouth. Some they call them chicklets. I don't fucking need this smile. That's for fucking sure. They keep fucking coughing off the teeth and everything. Can you hear him? They look a fucking mess. Why y'all talking shit? All y'all need is a helmet. And I can send y'all in a game. That look at that shit. There. Look at that there. Here's bugging out all in the corners. Man, you must have some bad fucking teeth, boy. That's what y'all look like. That's what y'all are. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Boy. You know how bad your teeth had to be to be happy with these? I mean, you, you must have had a mouth full of rotten teeth to be happy to get this right here. Because any regular human being will be, bro, you know, oh, this will not work. I look ridiculous. He doing videos. And his teeth got his jaws pushed out. God, dog, man. Ridiculous. All look like y'all all walking over. This is crazy. I hope y'all not allowing people to play in your mouths. They not supposed to be in your mouth at all. They're not licensed. They need to go through eight years of schooling to become a dentist in order for them to place veneers on your teeth, sis. I'm sorry. That's just what they saying. They saying that this is illegal. A lot of people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before we jump on her. This the lady that did the video that went trending. And I actually found the uh the lady that put the veneers on. And she had a little rebuttal to what this lady's saying, but I don't have it on this video. It's gonna have to be a part two. So pay attention, stay tuned. It's coming. But this young lady here fell for the okie doke, knew she ain't had the best teeth, decides she wants to go and get this one for $3,500 in a whole mouth and you know a whole mouth of veneers will cost you like 20 20 000 up Did you know that? that shit is expensive when they say thirty five hundred dollars you're like what you gonna do two t two or three t it is expensive to get this stuff done so you gotta think about it. you getting what you're paying for let's just be real you're getting what you pay for but she also got a little more extra and a damn in a hard time and some money lost and, and upset, all, you name it. But you get what you get when you go to some bottom basement shit. Let's just be real. It's like the BBLs. If you don't go to the real doctors and get it done, you get what you get. And your butt be all lumped up and hurting in two or three years, five years. You got to get it all cut out. Same thing with this. You don't get it done right. They put in these things on top of rotten teeth, bad gums cavities uh plaque or whatever they put these things on top of that glue it down and you you're gonna have problems and these people are not certified and insured or nothing like no it's just a mess watch watch how she complaining now watch i don't know what what happened on ig so i'm bringing it to facebook today so all of us know ig facebook i'm going to TikTok next because i'm gonna get my money before you start yeah one way or the other it's gonna i'm gonna get my money or if i ain't gonna get my money you won't make another veneer specialist sale in temple i'm gonna make sure of it you won't put another fake veneer do another dental cosmetic here in temple you won't do it now nah, you won't and i got facts and receipts and everything so let me let some people come in because they've been inboxing me and texting me and i got time right now now what she said the thing about the facts and receipts and all this look at it like this how I don't know if you can get your money back because it's like somebody selling drugs or something 
and the sale go bad. And now you run to police somebody, you want your money back. The same kind of stuff. There's no such thing as a veneer tech. You go into somebody, put these things on your mouth, the thing go bad. How are you going to go to court and go to court to get your money back for something that's illegal from the start? You see what I'm saying? It just, I just don't see her getting her money back. I just don't. And then they have a sign of the NDA, like, to cover them in case something go wrong. But again, how can you do it, have people sign an NDA for something you're doing illegal? So that NDA is not involved. So it, it doesn't matter. You see what I'm saying? You got smart people doing dumb shit. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. And you think you're doing something, but you didn't even do the research to see that this is not a real occupation. I'm putting these veneers on my mouth. I got a whole infection in my mouth that you talk about. You ain't gonna run me my money. Okay, facts. You might don't run me my money, but you won't make another. You won't make another dime here. Oh, I'm gonna be at your office every time you open that office. I'm gonna be sitting out there. I'm gonna have the news people out there. Maybe the, I'm gonna have the, the uh the the consumer protection out there. I'm gonna have the investigation out there. You won't make another dime in Temple. You won't do that here. No, you don't want to run me my money after you messed up. Okay, back Monday it's on. I can't wait no money to get here. Yeah. I reached out to this lady. She go by the veneer fairy, D with T H E E. I reached out to her about two months ago and told her I wanted to get a service from her. Would she provide veneers? I guess that's her specialty. She was licensed in or whatever. So I went there for a consultation. She told me at the consultation that I would need a partial and that it was going to be $3,500. So I gave her half that day. She took my impressions and she said, when the impressions came back, then I could come back to her office and get the impressions on back. So fast forward to Wednesday. I get the Wednesday for my appointment. She give me the impressions. I try them on. I tell her immediately, these things is too big. I don't know what you need to do, but they need to be shaved down. They need to be adjusted. They need to be something. They too. Well, see right here, it doesn't look that bad. It's the feel in your mouth because it's pushing up against your gums and stuff. So, yeah, it looks good, but it doesn't feel good. All right. So that's the whole thing going on here. So listen. Being in my mouth, salt need to happen. So it tells me that they got to be shaved down. I'm like, bet. She was like, but she didn't really have the tool, but she was going to try her best to shave them down. Red flag number one. So I'm like, okay. As long as you shave them down, that's cool. So in a in the course of her causing herself supposedly fake shaving them down, this dude comes in her office. Mind you, I ain't even started getting my teeth fixed or nothing. A dude come in her office and she asked me, do you got the remaining balance? Because I need to get him some money and I wasn't able to go to the bank. So I'm already looking weird. Like you ain't even started on my teeth and you asking me for the matter of fact, I had gave her $2,000. She was asking me for $1,500. That's what was owed on the balance. So I was like, okay, cool. So she she get the envelope. She give it to the dude. I don't know who he was. I guess he was her boyfriend. This is the scam that they ran. She give it to the dude. He take the money. He sit there. She tell him to count the money before he leave. He count the money. She was like, this only $1,000. I said, yeah, I cashed out you $500. So she was like, okay, bet. That's cool. So he count the money. And this before before you even start putting the utensils in my mouth. She count he count the money. He see this part right here is to me is irrelevant. It doesn't matter. You didn't give her the money. Why did you give her the rest of the money and the work hadn't got done? When the upfront agreement is you pay half up front, which she paid more than half, and then the rest when service is rendered. You know, that's how it works most of the time. But you give it to them on a random blink, and now you're saying red flags. So how many red flags y'all need to see before y'all like, nah, let me stop this shit? I don't know. Tell her how much it is, and then he leave out the door. At first, I ain't peep game, because I'm like, OK, I'm going to get my teeth done. So what, what she do with her money is her business. So bet she sh she calls herself to shaving them down. Then she immediately start putting up the veneers she started doing the veneers and putting the partials in my mouth. So while she putting them in, 
She sent me back up because she got me leaning to like a dentist chair. She sent me back up. She say, I am. It's, it's, it's going down. She sent me back up and say, I just want to tell you that it's a possibility that glue might get on your partials and they might get stuck in your mouth. Now, at that point, I didn't know that partials was supposed to come in and out. I just found out that, that they weren't even supposed to be glued in your mouth. That, that it's supposed to be something like if you get an implant, the partials supposed to be able to come back so you can get your implant. So when she tell me that, I tell her, OK. Wait, wait, wait. Now, she telling you there's a possibility that your partial that can come in and out might get glued in your mouth and that wasn't a red flag because see i'm like whoa 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 then stop the glue from do i need to take them out and then you do what you need to do it makes no sense to put that in there knowing the glue is going to get on your partials i don't know i don't know i don't know how this works so i'm just trying to visualize this thing so i don't know if y'all know let me know. Hit me in the comments how this really worked. I don't know. I don't have veneers. I ain't never had them. I don't know nobody who went and got this this shit. I don't know. So y'all let me know in the comments. And hey, and also make sure y'all hit that subscribe, like, and share, and definitely hit that notification. All right, let's get it. Hey, but you gonna have to shave these down because I can't talk. She was like, okay, I'm gonna figure something out. So she go back to doing what she doing. By this time, my you, I didn't get to her office till five o'clock. I got there like 5 15 p.m. Wednesday. So by this time, like I said, she she sent me up like she was like nervous, like they're gonna be stuck in your mouth. And I'm like, are you gonna be able to shave them down? So she still went over the fact of shaving them down. She was like, I'm gonna do something, and all you got to do is adjust to them because they knew. Me not thinking trusted her. I'm like, okay. So then, like 8 30, no, like 9 o'clock, 9 15 rolled around. She's still working on my teeth. The dude called her. He like, um, what you what you doing? You still there? She's like, yeah, I'm still here. But I'm so hungry. She kept, before this happened, she kept saying, oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, my God, I'm about to faint. Oh, my Lord, if I don't get nothing to eat, I'm going to pass out. You doing all this while you doing my teeth. Oh, my, I ain't ate all day. Oh, my God, I'm just about to die. Let's talk about she's, she's sitting in that chair for like four hours. It doesn't even take four hours to get braces put on. So she's. Guess you, you get what you get, people, when you pay for it, all right? You get what you get. At that point, I felt like she was trying to rush. Right. For real. Straight up. At that time, I felt like she was trying to rush on me. But I didn't say that because I didn't see the actual work because I was leaning back in this chair. So she's like, oh, my God, I'm so hungry. I ain't ate all day. I'm about to faint. The dude called her. It's like 925. He like, oh, I'm finna go to Longhorn. How long it's going to be? Because they close at 10 o'clock. She tells him, oh, I'm finna hurry up on her so I can meet you there before they close. So I'm like, you finna hurry up. But at that time, I was like, okay, if you almost done, let me see. So she sent me up. She was like, we done. I'm finished with you. So she takes some pictures. I'm like, oh, these things feel funny. I can't, at that point, I was talking so weird. I'm gonna post the video when I get done so y'all can see how I was talking. I was like, oh, these things feel so weird. They so bulky. Like, I can't even close my mouth. She was like, oh, boo, you just gotta get used to them. You gotta get used to them. So we took a little selfie or whatever. I ain't gonna lie, they did look good. They looked okay, but they didn't feel good. So I was like, okay, let me give her the benefit of the doubt because she the professionalist dealing with what else she supposed to do. So I lead her. 12 o'clock at night, my mouth go to hurting so bad, y'all. Like, I'm in tears. I'm taking hydrocodone. I'm like, oh, my God, something going on. But, of course, I didn't call her at 12 o'clock because I'm like, it's nothing that she's going to be able to do. I know the office ain't open. But as soon as 8 o'clock came, I text her phone. I say, listen, these things. I got something for you, ladies. Stop talking with your hands. Please stop talking with your hands hands i don't care what profession you're in stop it is not a good look it is not it's actually show a lack of professionalism just saying and also i don't like people to do that don't be talking with your hands let's try and get hit got to come out of my mouth i've been up all night i haven't been able to drink i wasn't even i wasn't even able to drink a smoothie i said it feel like my mouth is inflamed i don't know what's going on but these partials got to come out of my mouth 
she tells me, I'm going to see what I could do because I got a doctor's appointment. I'm going to see if I can make it over there. I told her, I don't care if you got a doctor's appointment. I got to get these things out of my mouth. I'm like two seconds from going to the emergency room. She tells me, okay, well, meet me at 10 o'clock. I was already in the parking lot before she even got there. Yeah, I got text messages. I got messages between me. I'm going to post the next. I'm posting all of that. It's on my IG, but everybody was asking me on Facebook, so I'm coming to Facebook. I'm going to be the TikTok next. I'm getting her shut down. So anyway, she was like, meet me at the office. I'm going to be there at 10 o'clock. When she get there, I'm already out. I'm outside of my car waiting because I'm like, these things hurting. My sister had to drive me over there because I had I took so much pain medication. She didn't want me to go by myself. So we get to her office. She began to try to drill these things off my teeth. She like, oh my God, I don't know what's going on. They stuck on your mouth. So she drilling, she drilling, and I'm pulling them. She never numbed me up. I'm pulling these things, like, get these things out my mouth. It took her an hour. She drilled these things for an hour. Finally, she said, before they... Hey, man, she said she didn't numb her up. Now, they're not certified or anything. Are they injecting you with something to numb you or putting a cream on you or what? Those you had have done, I'm asking. Because they're not supposed to inject you or pres they can't prescribe any medication, so they can't give you any pills or anything. They're not supposed to anyway. So just curious. Y'all let me know, those of you that, when they got the chop shop teeth, you know. Let me back up. Before that happened, she said, you might have to go to the ER because I think I'm going to pull your real teeth out if I keep pulling them like that. I told her, at one point my sister said, Stop pulling the teeth because you're going to pull your real teeth out. At that point, I was in so much pain. I was like, I don't care. I scream. I'm over it. When she, when, she, when she did that, I said, let me stand up and see if I can pull it myself out. Let me try to pull it out myself. So she got this little mirror in a sink in her office. So I stand up over the sink. I stand up over the sink. I'm like, let me try to do it myself. Because sometimes you can put pain on yourself better than somebody else can. I say, this is going to be my final attempt to try to get these partials out. I say, if I can't get them out, I'm going to have to go to the hospital. At this time, I wasn't even talking because they were dangling. They was halfway out, but they were stuck on my real teeth. They was dangling like she had put some super glue on there. I don't know what type of glue she used. So I'm standing in the mirror. I take the, I take my hand. I'm like, count the, and I pull them out. When I pull them out, she's like, oh, my God, let me see. Let me see. She's so nervous. I was nervous. My sister looking like, I don't know if she don't pull her teeth out. What done happened? So at this time, she like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so glad you got them out. I was so nervous that you was going to pull your teeth out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So at this time, I'm like, I got to get out of here. I'm still in pain. You just don't pull my, at that point, I didn't know whether my real teeth was gone or what. Because at that point, she was like, it looks like what I'm going to have to do is get somebody else to shave them down. And then you could come back and I let you, I put them in your mouth. And this time I won't glue them in. So I'm like, man, I'm finna go. I'm finna go. I don't even want you to touch my mouth. So when I get down the road, I'm still feeling like my mouth is sore and inflamed. Find out I got an infection, an abscess on both sides of my mouth, a whole infection going on. I text her and I tell her, I'm not going to be able to come this that same day. I left her office maybe about 2.45, no, 3.45, because I had to pick my daughter up from school. I leave her office. I text her at 4.30. I said, I'm going. Wait, man, if you got an infection that fast, then maybe she wasn't using clean tools in your mouth. Or maybe all this in your mouth, trying to pull and using all these. You got to abscess an infection that quick. I don't know, maybe from pulling and doing, I don't know, I don't know. But that's, that's kind of quick, to be infected that quick. To the emergency room. I'm not coming back to you. I'm not going to be able to come back. I don't want you touching my mouth. I said, after the pain that I just went through, you didn't even have the proper tool to take them out, and you didn't even shave these things down. Y'all should have seen how bulk these parts were. Like, the whole grill part was making me gag. It felt like it was going in my throat because the, she's supposed to cut it out of shape. I don't know what they're supposed to do to them. I'm not especially she is. So I tell her, I'm not going to be able to come back. Girl, I got an infection in my mouth. You just put me through all that pain. I'm not coming back to get them. I don't want you touching me. And I got eight veneers that I got to find somebody to take them out. My dentist probably won't even take them out. I got an appointment with them on Monday because it's going to be a liability issue. But I still got to get these veneers out my mouth. So I text her and tell her, babe, I'm not coming back. 
what can we do? And I'm gonna put the text messages on here, they on IG. I say, what can we do about a reimbursement? I say, your customer service skills was good. I'm not gonna deny that, but your product suck. You gave me an infection. I don't want the product. You got the, you got the partials. I got half of the veneers was popping off. As she was pulling them out my mouth, the veneers was just popping off my teeth on, on the top. They was popping out. So I don't even wanna go through that. What can we do about a reimbursement? She didn't respond. So I called her. I said, I'm perfect. being in business, I don't be in business for over eight years. I said, being in business, when one of your customers reach out to you and you know that it was an issue because I was in your office less than seven hours. I had these teeth on my, I had these, these veneers and partials in my mouth less than eight hours. Eight hours. I came to your office. I asked her, what can we do about a reimbursement? She did not want to respond, so I called her. I said, I know you got my text. What can we do about a reimbursement? I said, at this point, you could give me half my money. I didn't even ask for it all. I said, because you did have good customer service and you did try to get them out, but you was unsuccessful. You didn't have the tools that you needed to get them out. I had to pull my teeth out with these things. Like, what can we do about a reimbursement? Because at this point, I got to hire a dentist. I got to pay for my antibiotic. Like, I don't got too many bills in less than 24 hours. What can we do? Uh, you should have did all that before you went to her. And then again, you have a dentist. So that dentist already told you what it was going to cost to get a mouthful of veneers. You see what I'm saying? You went over because you didn't want to pay that money. Saw this ad. I'll do it for 3500 And you went there. Again, you got what you paid for. Y'all ladies going to learn. Trying to enhance yourself so much. Be happy with God. You can get your teeth fixed. Don't get it wrong. But y'all doing too much, man. Way too much. Y'all looking goofy out here. You're doing too much. You don't even look like like regular humans no more. In the near oh, God, I messed my whole video up messing around with this. But yeah, so just mm -mm. come on. I'm an infection. I don't want you put, put your, your tools, your hands, your super glue. I don't want none of that in my mouth. So that's not going to work. She tells me, well, she has tried numerous times to offer me uh, a chance to come back to her office and I have refused. So at this point, have a blessed day. You gonna have, girl, I gave you $3,500. I only asked you for half and you couldn't accommodate me with that. So that's why I came to social media because everybody need to know, I found out she was not licensed. I got the text messages. When I went to post it about her, people went to inbox me. They said this girl was in Baltimore doing tea and she messed up people in Baltimore and came down here with the foolishness. Girl, you ain't gonna get away with that in Tampa. Trust me, we're gonna get you shut down. I'm gonna tell everybody about you. I'm gonna post you all over social media. I'm gonna be standing at your office. If anybody go in, I'm gonna tell them about the experience. I'm gonna show them the hospital papers. I'm gonna have my dentist papers to show them. Like, girl, you caused this foolishness. You did that. I wouldn't let you touch my mouth, my children, my, nobody mouth, my friend, Facebook friends, nobody, nobody mouth. So yeah, after she told me, it wasn't gonna be nothing she could do. And that dish, this was a kicker. She said, oh, she got good customer service. So regardless of what I say, her customer service skills will get her far. Yeah, your customer service skills will get you far on a call center job. But now when you put something in somebody's mouth causing infection, it don't matter how good your customer service is. That go out the window when I had to go to the emergency room and you told me you weren't gonna accommodate me. So who cares about the customer service? Yeah, facts. Facts. Right, she not legit. Right, but I guess because she thinks because she's from Baltimore, she gonna bring that janky service down here and we gonna let her ride. No, it's not gonna ride. I will be calling Bay News 9. I'll be calling 13. I'm calling all over, baby. You're not gonna get away. I'm calling everybody. They will know information. I'm gonna be posting her address. She already changed the name of her business, so y'all be well. That's why I post a picture of her. Y'all be well, because if you were standing on business, why would you go to your IG page and change your information. Why would you change your information if you felt like you was in the right? Why would you change your information? The first time you told me to go to the emergency room, you should have known you weren't right. You don't even got the tools, love. No. So yeah, that's what it's about. So I'm gonna be posting all night. I'm gonna be posting her information because she gonna run me my money. And if she don't, that's fine. You're gonna lose more in the wrong long run. You won't make a dime here in Tampa peacefully. You won't do it. You will not do it. I'll make sure if I have to pick your fence outside your office, you will not make another dime. You ain't even supposed to be shaving people real teeth, girl. 
You done glued them darn parcels in my mouth. You crazy as hell if you think I ain't gonna get my money or you ain't gonna make a dime or you gonna get locked up and go to jail. For real though. I was like, oh, these things. <laughs> okay, so that's it, man. That's it. <laughs> All I can say, man, is... uh. Y'all ladies got to be careful. I know y'all want to make it enhance yourself and do all this stuff. Y'all see all these people on TikTok and movie stars looking glamorous. And y'all trying y'all best to get there. Y'all chopping your bodies up. Y'all, now y'all ozempic to death. You got the ozempic face, the ozempic butt going on from that. You know, now you got the fake veneer situation going on. So they putting fake veneers in your mouth by somebody got two days of training. Uh, how long y'all think y'all gonna be able to keep doing this before something really happened to you? Y'all saw the whole trend of the BBLs, what end up happening like in a good 10 year span. And all those women start having problems and all this, and they putting out all this, you know, these health notices and don't do's and all that. Okay, they're gonna do the same about everything else. You know, they already started with those epic. You know, they started talking about that when people was using it against doctors um, without doctors um, care. So and it was shutting down their organs. So you got to be careful what you're doing out here. You can't just buy stuff and go get stuff and expecting it to enhance you. And like, you know, like her mouth might be messed up for a while. Because she's saying within eight hours, she had abscess and infections. So the girl probably had dirty tools and scraping her gums and everything else. You know, that's where all that coming from. They cut gums and everything. It's like your mouth hurting. It ain't worth it, ladies. It just ain't worth it. Well, guys, that's all I got. Hope y'all got some ideas. I do have that other girl, so I probably put her on. Uh, I'll try to get that video out uh, in the next day or so. So we'll be looking for it. But as always and always, it is your boy, Mr. Nobody. And I am up out of here. Y'all stay vibing. Peace. Man.